Uh, I am Lon Gross with Chaos Group uh, USA. I'm the Vice President of Business Development. I'm here at the Box booth at uh, Autodesk University. And what we're doing here while we're uh, demonstrating to everyone who comes by is uh, Box has set up a really tremendous system here with uh, a Quadro 4000 card and three Tesla cards. And we're rendering right now in real time an HD frame at 1920 by 1080 and this is directly on the GPUs. And you can see what kind of amazing throughput you can get from that. So the system is incredibly responsive. Uh, we're getting full ray tracing, uh, glossy reflections, high dynamic range imagery, uh, imagery and uh, we can come in here in real time, change any, anything that we want, lights, materials, One thing that I like to do with the uh, car model here is, uh, as we switch it back to fully reflective, we can turn it into a matte black car, which is just sort of an interesting look. Okay, so uh, just to prove how fast and simple the, the system is, I've opened up a scene. I'm gonna activate the active shape render. This is a 1280 by 720 image, the 720p. And within about three seconds, we have a fully, uh, fully realized image with uh, ray trace reflections, glossiness, um, full global illumination. And that will continue to run. Uh, if we were to move things around or do some more development, this will continue to update and, uh, and essentially in a couple of minutes, all of this noise will, will go away and I'll, I can actually have a production looking rendering. One of the great things about our system is that the standard V-Ray lights, V-Ray materials, everything that you would use for uh, the production render works on the CPU and on the GPU. So you don't have to change your workflow in order to use it. And it's perfect for doing something like looking